One of the uh, not so good things about uh, getting older is that you um, you you lose uh, comrades, uh, compatriots, friends, uh, acquaintances, and they, they just you know you, you get older, they get older. Some people pass on, etc., etc., etc. A few months ago. Um, I ran, well, a, a diplomat's son uh, that, I, that, I, that I had the good uh, graces to, to, to meet, a uh, uh, diplomat from, from uh, Namibia, uh, you know, I, we, I helped him out a little bit, you know, all the rest of stuff here at a conference that we was having here in South Africa. And he told me, he says, oh, uh, you know, you mentioned uh, Cedric Robinson and Cedric Robinson, Robinson passing. I said, oh. Man, that's that's not good, you know. Uh, Cedric Robinson said the time he passed was uh, 76 years old. Um, but uh, what a thinker! And uh, I, I I didn't know Cedric Robinson well I, afterwards, but I didn't know Cedric Robinson as a as a, as a uh, well actually I did know him <laughs> as a scholar. I fed, first met Cedric Robinson in like 1992 around there. When I was at a I was doing a, a conference uh, a radio conference and and. and in Mexico, and in Oaxaca, Mexico, and uh, his 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 wife was involved in community radio. Elizabeth, uh, she was she was there anyway. So I was doing an audio drama as usual there, and that's how I, that's how I met Cedric and and, and, and their daughter Nadia, and um, and you know he was just sort of hanging in the periphery because it was a radio conference and he's a he's an academic, you know, and so but we, he was a very nice person and we, we headed off very nicely the whole family. But we did this incredible uh, audio drama. I don't even know if Nadia was in it, but anyway we did a great audio drama. And then the next uh, I uh, uh, know about Sir Robinson is that I I, I was doing a uh, uh, through AMAC through the National Association. Well, uh, uh, the World Association of Community Broadcasters. I guess uh, I used to do audio dramas all over the world. And uh, through that, uh, through that hookup, uh, um, Elizabeth Robinson, who was uh, teaching at the campus of the University of California at Santa Barbara, which is where Cedric Robinson was was the academic at, um, and she was doing a she was the radio. Uh, station manager there. Anyway, they, she invited me uh, through Amak uh, to do uh, one of my live audio dramas at, at, at the school. It was a very good, uh, good, uh, good thing, and it was it was a wonderful program. Um, and then later on, I think I'm not really sure when it was uh, because I don't know when uh, the book came out. Whatever anyway, I heard that, that 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 a book was was coming out or it came out. And I wanted to get this book because Cedric Robinson told he wrote this. His classic book was uh, Black Marxism. Let me see. Let me just look up up here real real quick and see if I can find it. Now, yeah, Black Marxism: uh, The Making of Black Radical Tradition. It's interesting. This Black Radical Tradition. This phrase uh, you hear um, you hear uh, Cornel West use that. Uh, uh, oh, he says Black Prophetic. Um, a traditional because it's the, the religious thing was to take off on that. Anyway, the he the the book that I was uh, interested in or or you know cut my my teeth on was uh, about uh, that he that he came across was thing called a forgeries of memory and meaning, blacks and their regimes of uh, or regiments of race in American theater. And film before World War II. It came out in 2007. That's when I found out about it. But that's why I got a copy. In fact, my copy is, is in Cape Town with a musician friend, a friend of mine. He's in his library because I was traveling, and I just left it with him. I said, "Look, you'll you'll appreciate this book because I read it. It's an amazing uh, historical, it's an amazing book, a well-researched academic book on on, on theater and and film. And it's it's a must for anybody in culture, which is how I I turned on to it." Um, anyway, so so it's it's, it's a great book. Um, I don't want to be long on this because I'm sort of like sort of weirdly emotional. Not that emotional because I wasn't that close to to, to the Robinsons, but uh, uh, but it's that kind of uh, I want to say cerebral emotional. I don't know some kind of some kind of weird thing because it's a loss. I mean the the loss of Cedric Robinson is like and and it, and his loss we go really unnoticed for the most part. It's like. Uh, um, uh, like Ivan Van Sederman. When Ivan Van Sederman was alive, yeah, he got some notoriety because he's out of New York, but 
But you know, people really didn't uh, note Ivan Van Serma, just like they're not noting uh, Cedric Robinson. Uh, but believe you me, as, as, as my grandmother would want to say, uh, as the years go by and, and scholarship is looked at, everybody's going to know the name of Cedric Robinson because he's just an amazing, uh, just an amazing, amazing human being. He was just a, a gentle soul. Um, so actually condolences, belated condolences to, to, to Elizabeth and, and Najee. Um, uh, but he has this quote that they took from this article that, that, that uh, this article uh, on Cedric Robinson's passing, or just an article on Cedric Robinson, and it's from the uh, Boston Review uh, Political Literary Forum. And the, uh, the quote is, uh, my happiest and most stunning opportunity for raising hell with corruption and deceit are with other black people. That's a, that's a heck of a statement. And uh, with that, let me just uh, say, um, we, we miss you, uh, Cedric Robinson, uh, Professor Emeritus, we, we miss you, and, uh, but your work will carry on. Your, your, your work will be elevated beyond even your name, beyond, uh, beyond all of academia. And that's, that's what I feel, me being T from the Pattersons, taking the train to Tibet, letting you know what I only suspect.